to French Guiana now, where the first ever European mission to Mercury, the smallest and least explored planet in the inner solar system, is underway. Bepi Colombo is a joint endeavour between the European Space Agency and Japan Aerospace, which who have each contributed a probe to the near decade-long mission. After the seven-year journey to Mercury, it's hoped their parallel findings might help to resolve some of the many puzzles about the hot, unusual planet. Well, the mission will build on the findings of the U.S. orbiter Messenger, which circled the planet for four years, providing remarkable new insights into the mysterious world. Well, ESA Director of Science Gunter Harzinger told Euronews why Mercury is of interest to the space agency. Mercury is special in the sense that it is the only planet apart from, this, uh, from the Earth who has a planet uh, a magnetic field. And so we don't yet understand how that magnetic field is formed. And then there are some indications that Mercury has actually not been formed in the place where it is now, but that it has been formed further out in the solar system, maybe even beyond uh, Mars orbit. And so we can actually learn something about how the solar system has been formed and also learn something about other solar systems out there where we now know lots of other exoplanets. This all fits together in a very nice story. And Mercury, as you say, has remained the least explored planet. It was also the solar system's smallest planet. Why do you think we've taken so long to try and get to it and explore it in more detail? Yes, it is actually turns out to be much more complicated to get to the inside of the solar system than it is to get towards the outside. So it's easier to reach Mars and then Jupiter and Saturn than it is to reach Mercury, which is a little bit um, curious because you think the sun is pulling everything towards it, but this is actually not true because you have to get rid of the so-called angular momentum that uh, the spacecraft has with the sun. So you need a very strong power a very um, a large machine to get there and it is actually taking seven years and we need uh, two and three other planets to help us we have a flyby by earth we have two flybys by venus and six flybys by mercury until we get there and then it's also extremely hot it's as hot as a pizza oven and so we need to develop new technologies that can sustain that, that heat and you, for instance, think about solar panels. They are looking at the sun. In the near, near the Earth, um, it is fine, but near Mercury, we have to, to uh, put the solar panels in a way that they are only slantly uh, looking at the sun. Otherwise, they would burn. Uh, uh, sorry, otherwise they would burn up. That was the ESA's director of science, Gunther Hasinger. There.